a little bit of battery left. Good morning from uh, Gaonair again, one of my favourite spots. Yeah, the, uh, a bit cloudy, it's going to be a hot day, uh, about 36 I think, 36 or 37. So uh, I was here by myself for a little while, but then this truck around the corner there rocked up with his, uh, you know, with his air cons going, so I had to move. Right. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, head to Port Augusta, get some things, and then uh, maybe try for Kimber. Because, because if I go to the Nullarbor in the next few days, it's going to be probably raining, tailwind, and in about the mid-twenties. So, yeah, <laughs> I think I might go. So I've left uh, Port Augusta. Way across Australia again. <laughs> I only did this not long ago. Yep, Kimba. And I'm heading to Sedona, maybe even further. It's coming up to the big galah. At the Kimba free RV campground so I actually have the car in the sun for a while these days just to keep the uh, solar panels so they can charge up the fridge I'm using the little solar panel to charge the phone yeah so a little bit of shade shortly but I do also want a bit of sun on the solar panel all right so a couple of days here at Kimber rest area again and I'll uh, Head off to Sejuna now. Sejuna. It's, uh, that took a while. Six hours to come 320 kilometers, I think. Six hours. I just constantly had the wind head on stopping me from getting up the hills. <laughs> so, well, nearly there. Sejuna, five kilometers. Got to Sejuna. There's the jetty, but it's uh, yeah, not a lot of relief here because the wind's not coming from the water, it's coming from inland. Just boiling tomorrow's coffee water while I'm here at Sejuna because uh, I think where I'm going to go to tonight there'll be flies everywhere, so I won't really want to be outside too much. Yep, that's a great Australian bite. Yep, time to go. 
Time to head to Western Australia. Just arrived at Penong. Comet, the biggest windmill in Australia. Good morning from the old Cohen school site. Usual staple of mine. So I yeah, got here about 6.30 last night and it must have been still about 40 degrees. So I'm just getting an early start. It's going to be around 41 here again today. So a couple of hundred kilometres to, um, to Nullarbor, which is also meant to be pretty hot. And then a couple more hundred kilometres to the border. And it's going to be really cool. It's rain, I think. So... I'm just sort of packing up now, got uh, this on already, I actually put it on soon before I even got out of the car. But, uh, yeah, I'll get a move on, I'm not going to put the drone up or anything. I've set up a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a fly mesh for the back, to cool it down and as soon as you get, as soon as you um, open the doors the flies get in, so that was, that was handy, so yeah. I sort of like those sunrise shots when they're like that. The old Cohen school site. There's the chimney there. Right, so I got an early start. According to the clock, it's like uh, gee, 8 30. So then uh, I guess today I'll be changing a time zone. And in the mornings in WA, on the eastern part of WA, it'll be sunrise at around 5 o'clock in the morning, or even earlier. I remember that last year getting up and the sun was coming up and it was 5 or 4.50 or something. Looks like end, so that'd be Nundrew Roadhouse, 65. That's usually a cheaper place to get fuel. Eastern end of the treeless plain. Yeah, I've done the trip four times in a year and a half. 
So uh, I'm not going to probably stop at the cliffs. So I'm going to, you know, probably make for Eucla or something. It's supposed to be quite cool. And I'll see how I go. I'm just going to stop at the roadhouse here at Nullarbor for a while, cool the car down. And I'm also trying to upload a video. So I'll uh, let that upload before I head off. So, yeah, off to Nullarbor. and see the clouds so that's where I'm going It'll be a lot cooler apparently and today might be my last day of sunshine for this trip I don't know so I'm just coming up to the Nullarbor Roadhouse and here I am again forgetting about the potholes Massive big puddle back there on a different entrance. So this is the uh, I don't know if you can hear with the this is the caravan park. So when I came through in the gold Tarago, I was camped right here. And it was somewhere around here where I filmed that shingleback lizard shingleback lizards there he is Wouldn't take, wouldn't take much for this to be a dust bowl. Yeah, they've, they've had a bit of rain in the area. I'll need to watch that, those puddles in some of the other. And there's going to be more rain, so... Yeah, this is a really good map. Oh, so there's Kimba. That's where I was last night at Penang. That's where I'm now at Nullarbor. I'm going to head along here. Probably won't stop too much at the cliffs and end up at Eucla. Well, I might uh, keep going. couple more months it'll be it'll be the uh, whale seal season now I don't think this arrow is right I think this arrow is more over here oh. the fuel is I know it's probably probably about two dollars fifty or something uh, head on now Gee, it's good to be away from those hills Jeez, it was tiring the cliffs are just through there yeah, you can see what's hopefully all the rain clouds up ahead there it's nice to have the sunshine for filming, but I wouldn't mind having the clouds right now. Just as starting to get the uh, the sun, you're a lot more exposed in this car. You're right up against the, the window here. Uh, as you get closer to the clouds, it's getting cooler all the time. I don't even think there could be rain. Could even be rain just over there at the cliffs. But uh, yeah, it's definitely getting a lot cooler. The temperature gauge has gone from about 80 down to about 
68. Yeah, the cliffs I normally go to are right there. So, they're probably going to have some pretty muddy tracks shortly. So definitely not going in there. But that's, yeah, that's the uh, cliffs I can see. I can see rain right up ahead there. I should probably stop and wind that window up. Just past the little sign, WA 130. There's the uh, lookout through there, which I often go to, but it's just raining now. Yes, there's the ocean down there, but you can only barely make it out. So. No drone for this trip. I think I followed the Tarago last time here with the drone. You have that view down there. Now the dart is full and the GoPro just like get to the border. So I'll uh, find some space shortly. So yeah, I'll see if I can get to that uh, WA sign, get a photo and then uh, go through. Minding any puddles I suppose. Yeah, that WA sign used to be down on the ground for a long time. Yeah, I've had really nice weather. I was just going to stay at Eugla, um for tonight, but I actually might go to Majura. Um, yeah. Go away, flow. Got to put my uh, net on. Right, so back in WA, so the clock goes back 45 minutes because we're in that special time zone. So I'm at Eucla, looking down at the Great Australian Bight, but uh, it's all kind of like fog, rain. And uh, the worst part of the whole trip's down there, and it's raining, well, in shade and that. So I'm thinking of um, actually going. It's about 180 kilometres I've got the sun's way up there still so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna actually do it I'm gonna go and make my way to Madura so I might as well <laughs> while it's like this I might as well just keep going I think plenty of light so that's it I'm gonna head off go and fly and down the Eucla Pass yeah very very hazy which is good Majura 182, that's what I'm going to try and head to. Here comes Mudrabilla Roadhouse. I wonder if they got big poles of water. Oh, good morning from Majura, Majura Pass Roadhouse Caravan Park. It, uh, boy, it's stopped raining now, but last night there was just like a river running down here. It was heavy. I'm not even sure if the road ahead's flooded. So I wanted some rain and cool temperature, and well, I got it. So I think I've I've been looking at the news or just some um, like the radar, and it looks like the whole in a Western Australia is still to get rain so the whole thing of do I stay here and what do I just go so I might go um, yeah right I just went got some fuel in Madura so put your card in and do it that way yeah last night when I got here it was like all this was in a fog but I wanted a nice cool driving weather so I've, I've got it So here's the lookout, this is where I, I went to go in last night, I'm not going to bother to go in there now because oh, I see those four wheel drive stayed there last night, but uh, yeah, there was great big puddles. So I was in there, and now it's all in fog, which is something different. Yeah, it's fog, I guess, sea mist or fog. Yeah, they have the warning sign for the stray animals because you've got to watch those little puddles in the road because the animals 
come and drink from that which puts them on the road so you do have to be extra careful I'm only doing about 80 at the moment or a bit less heavy now came through here once before in a really weather like this I think it was a bad storm too yeah about 10k from Cocklebitty yeah I wonder how flooded their entrance is got a bit of water over the road here there's not too I hope there's not too much of this there's cockle beauty but I don't think I'm gonna bother because I can imagine what it probably looks like things probably swamped in Kaiguna will be the same as Cocklebitty, just be a big lake to get into because you've got to remember all the potholes underneath the water too. <laughs> so I'll probably hopefully just keep going and get to Baladonia. It's certainly been a memorable trip. I started out in 41 degrees and stinking hot and hoping for a bit of rain or something and and uh, here it is. And there's the time zone there for the western time zone so we're um, on the Perth time now look at that the sun sun come out slightly just as we pass that sign Gotta be careful with potholes here. I don't know how deep they are. Well that wasn't too bad getting in there, you can see all the water though, but yeah, the rain has stopped for a little while. Sure is nice and cool too. You could almost put a almost put a jumper on. Yeah, just started raining again. Had a bit of time to stretch the legs and make a coffee and get some chocolate. A bit of a cue for uh, fueling there. Right, so start of the 90 miles straight again. Well, there's the sign, but you won't be getting off the road for that because that is really boggy. That orange mud really boggy oh look here comes an old bus there's been a lot of old bus mobile homes i've seen today 90 miles straight there we go baladonia i think that says 181 that's the 90 mile straight there somewhere this area where I've uh, filmed the other cars with the drone this little spot here about 
at four kilometers till the end of the straight road and I got I think I got my first cyclist for the Nullarbor coming up here be having a hard trip across wind and in the rain Coming up to the uh, other end of the 90 mile straight sign. Yeah, so what's uh, about 146 kilometres, I think the signage says. Coming into Baladonia Roadhouse. Caledonia Roadhouse. Usually it's a dust bowl. Today it was a mud pot. So it's got a little bit of fuel to get into Norseman. That's quite good. I like that. At the start, back there, up to Port Augustine, all the way to St. Juna, and I had the headwinds pushing me back as I was trying to get up the hill. Now I've got the tailwind pushing me up the hill. <laughs> so I like that. Yeah. Not much effort getting up the hills at the moment. This sign again. So there we go, and it's an horseman. So that was another big day. So this morning, Majura Roadhouse. So you know, all this absolutely bucketing down. Some of the road was flooded. You know, Cocklebitty Roadhouse, you couldn't even get into it. So uh, yeah, tomorrow I'll probably decide whether to head down to Esperance or up to Kulgardi. But uh, yeah, that's basically it for the Nullarbor, I suppose you could say. It's like pretty much where people say it starts here from Western Australia, so yeah. So, made it back to Western Australia. <laughs> what a trip. Yeah, like I said, uh, coming along was hot and headwind and crosswind and really unpleasant to Nullarbor Roadhouse. And then shortly after that, it was tailwind and rain and uh, everything. So, um, I've just heard that they've closed the road. So, I just got through um, the road and have closed it. So, I'm glad I didn't stay at Madura and... Um, just kept going so it was starting to get a bit deep in a couple of spots I was forced to go through one because I had a road train right behind me so yeah got through but I'm not sure which way to go I'm not sure if Kalgoorlie is sort of meant to be flooded too so just make a little bit of use of some sunshine here and uh, get going so yeah if you like this one don't forget the thumbs up and the notification button and the subscribe button <laughs> flies and welcome to all the new subscribers yeah thanks everyone and uh I'll uh, probably going to get some more bad weather uh, in a couple of hours, so I'll um, yeah just get a move on now. All right, see you next time. Thank you. Yeah, this uh, this fly mesh <laughs> came in really handy. Yep, still have the passengers.